Hello everyone. This is tutorial number 4 in this series where I am covering the basics of NXO practical examples. In today's video, I will be making the 3D model of a flanged pipe, which you can see on the right hand side of the screen. So let's start by opening a new part file. In order to make the 3D, we need to first create the pipe center line, which is already specified in the drawing. So let's start by creating a new sketch for the drawing center line. I'll start the process by creating two perpendicular lines. Now we can basically add the fillet. Next we need to put a dimension on this fillet which is 260 mm. So let's use the ideal dimension. We also need to dimension the linear portions which are as per drawing 150 mm each. Everything is done, so let's finish the sketch. In order to make this tubular section on the pipe, we can use the tube command. Here we need to basically set the inner and the outer diameter and also select the center line. Let's now preview the result and everything looks ok so let's hit ok and move on to the next section now we need to create the flanges so let's briefly look at the drawing in order to take note of the thickness as well as the length and the breadth of the flange additionally we also need to take a note of the location of the counterboard holes so let's make the sketch now and in this case, we can directly make the sketch on the end surface of this pipe. Let's start by creating the rectangular perifes using the rectangle command. And here I am using the centered rectangle as you can see. Now let's uh, set the dimensions right. This is 360 mm as per the drawing. Now to the other end. We also need to create uh, the center points for the counterboard holes. Since uh, these are symmetric, we can just create one hole and later on we can simply use the pattern curve to create the remaining three. Let's add the and one point here. And let's change the dimension to 50 mm as is mentioned on the drawing. Now to the other side. Let's now use the pattern curve command and uh, here let's select the point as the curve to be patterned and set the count and pitch. Next we need to select direction 1. In this case it appears to be in the reverse direction. Let's 
use reverse direction option here to set it right similarly we can set the direction number two so let's select this line it looks like it is fine let's say okay and finish the sketch in a similar manner we can make an identical sketch on the other line Now let's create the extrudes for the flanges. Select the boundary. Looks like uh, the direction is reversed. So let's select reverse direction here. Additionally, we also need to set the distance here and select the center hole so that it becomes a hole in the center. Looks like everything is okay. Now let's set okay. Similarly, let's do the same process for the other end flange. Next, we move on to the counterboard holes. Need to select the hole command. Uh, select all the points, one face at a time. Now we can already see that I have already set the dimensions related to this counterboard hole. Now next we need to set the depth correctly so that it is a through hole. There are multiple options here. Let's experiment and try to use the through body. But here you can see it is cutting through the pipe section which of course we don't need. And the best option here is until selected. So we basically need to select the surface until which the depth of the hole should go. It looks fine, so let's hit OK. And now we can use like a similar process to create the counterboard holes on the other surface as well. Now let's uh, again look at the drawing and see what else is remaining. Uh, the first thing we can see is that we need some radii or 10 radius at the uh, intersection point between this pipe and the flange and we also need some r20 radiuses at the corners of this uh, flange and some chamfers at the mouth openings of the pipe so let's start with uh, the r10 radii And select both at the time and hit apply now we need to reset the radius to 20 and finish with the edges of these square flanges now we can hit apply so there is just one thing remaining and that would be the chamfers, C10 chamfers. Uh, let's basically close this and use the chamfer command now. It's already set as 10 mm so we don't need to change anything there. Let's select the edges and hit OK. Let me basically hide some of these curves just so we can have a better look at the 3D side and uh, the 3D actually looks quite good and uh, we can also take a look at the cross section view of this by using in the view option we can use the edit section That was all for today's video, stay tuned for more content from us.